Okay, this lesson is on simple and compound interest, which is a very common application of percentages. Anyone who puts money in a bank deals with this issue, because when you deposit money in a bank, they don't just keep it for you. They put the money to work, and specifically that means that they loan that money to other people. People who are starting businesses or projects or, and, and need the money can get a loan from the bank, and then the bank charges them interest. So in other words, they have to pay the money back, but they have to pay a little bit extra on top of it, and that extra is the interest. And understanding that is one of the keys to understanding the banking system. People can borrow money and pay it back later, but when you do that, you have to pay back more than you borrowed, and that extra amount is one of the, one of the um, ways that banks make their profits. Now, whenever someone borrows money, whenever they make a loan, it's done at a certain interest rate, and that interest rate is usually expressed as a percentage. So here's just a simple example to illustrate that concept. Suppose you borrow $100 at a 7% annual interest rate. So that means 7% yearly. That means that you have to pay back $107 at the end of one year. And that extra $7 is 7% 7 of the original 100. That 7% gives you this interest rate. You pay back, and that's what, where you get the extra $7, or that's where you get that number, that amount that you have to pay back. And so you just need to understand the terminology. When you're dealing with a loan or a any kind of bank, money in the bank, the base is called the principal, and that's P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L. And then the rate is called the rate, or specifically the interest rate. And if you're borrowing money, you want to, to have the interest rate as low as possible, because that's less extra you have to pay back. And then the extra amount that you have to pay back is called the interest. So borrowing money has a cost to it, and that's the interest. So here's an example. Joe borrows $1,200 for one year at a 7.5% interest rate. How much does he have to pay back after one year? Well, he's going to have to pay back the interest, which will be 7.5% of the 1200 in addition to the original 1200 so let's calculate the interest first. That's going to be 7 and 1 half percent of 1,200. And 7 and a half is 0.07, that, that would be 7 percent. 0.075 would be 7 and a half times 1,200. And that comes out to 90 if you just do the multiplication right there. So that's $90. That's how much interest he has to pay. So at the end of one year, he has to pay back the original $1,200 plus the $90 in interest. That would be $1,290. And you might be asking, well, why would he do that? Why would he borrow this money if he has to pay more back? Well, hopefully what's going on is that he borrows this money and does something with it that makes a profit that's greater than $90. Maybe he takes this $1,200 and opens a lemonade stand and sells, sells thousands and thousands of glasses of lemonade and makes several hundred dollars profit, enough to pay back the loan and the interest and still have some left over. So that's typically what's going on when banks are lending money. They're lending money to businesses and then the businesses are hoping to make enough profit to cover the original loan and the interest charges. In this example, we're told that Joe borrowed some money at a 12.5% interest rate. For the one year, he paid $328.17 in interest. How much did he borrow? I'll set this one up using our proportion. We'll talk about the amount, the base, and the rate. And the amount in this case is the interest, the amount of interest that he paid, and that's $328.17. So I'll write 328.17. The base, which is the principal, the total amount of the loan, in this case is what we don't know, and the rate is simply the interest rate, 12.5%. And we can say A over B is equal to the rate over 100. So put in the numbers, 328.17 over B, that's my unknown, what I'm looking for 
is my rate 12.5 over 100 and I want to solve for B so I'll multiply this I'll use my quick method for solving the proportion I multiply those two and then divide by that and that will give me the answer for B so B is going to be 328.17 times 100 divided by 12.5 and that comes out to $2,625.36. So if he borrowed that much money at an interest rate of 12.5%, then he's going to have to pay that much extra in interest if he borrows that for one year. And here's one more example dealing with a simple interest calculation. Mary loaned Joe $1,800. After one year, Joe paid her back $1,926. What was the interest rate for the loan? Well, Joe borrowed this much, $1,800, but he paid her back this much, $1,926. So the difference there is the extra that he paid back. So that's going to be the interest. So let's calculate that. $1,926 minus $1,800, and you can probably do that in your head comes out to $126. That's the interest. So if we do our percent proportion here, A over B is R over 100, the amount there is the interest, in this case the $126. The base was the principal, the total amount of the loan, that's the $1,800. So let's put those numbers in. We get 126 over 1800 equals R over 100. And we want to solve that for R. So I'm going to multiply 126 by 100 and divide by 1800. And so R ends up being 126 times 100 divided by 1800. And I'm going to simplify this just by crossing out those two zeros and those two zeros. And the calculation just becomes 126 over 18 and that comes out to 7. So 7 is the interest rate. It's a 7% a 7% interest rate loan.